Hey traders, this is Cousin Benny coming to you on the 18th of October, Tuesday, with uh, some thoughts and targets for tomorrow. We had uh, a nice rally end of day today, and we got this nice shot up into the end of the day where um, I took my SDS puts off and half of my SPY 120 calls off. Okay, I'm still holding uh, five SPY November 120s and will keep an eye on the market tomorrow for some signs of a follow through. After hours we did have Apple report and the market did come down a bit and settled uh, in the 1218 area. You can see we're currently trading at 1216. So I am let me just check this out real quick. Yeah, the market's pretty much just moving sideways. Okay. So I like to look at the end of the day charts on the ES to get my targets for SPY and currently we have this range that we've been chopping out and up until to this week we had this horizontal structural resistance area where we um, broke above on Friday, closed above that, and then Monday we had that down day, and then again today we closed up higher. So what I'm currently looking at is this Fib range here. Okay, we hit the 127, and I'm looking at the 1618 extension above here. So, a follow through uh, tomorrow would bring us up to the 1266 area, which, as you remember, <coughs> is just above the neckline, excuse me, of the previous uh, head and shoulders top where we broke down. Okay, so in between these two levels is a target that I'll be watching. Uh, I'm not saying that we're going to actually trade up there, but I am looking at it. Uh, for a possible um, area for me to take some more profits and depending on what type of candle we get tomorrow if we get a nice follow through and we move up into here I'll more than likely hold those calls. I might take a, another two or three off and look for perhaps a move higher into the options expiration on Friday. Okay. So I do note that we had this outside day. Uh, also, if you look at the spiders, we had a nice, uh, this is the trend line again, and well, actually that's the, the 127 extension. What am I looking at there? Let's look at, we are overbought. We do have this level up above. The 127 is up here. Okay. The 127 extension on the SPY using the low on 10.4 to that pivot high on Friday. Okay. So, and also note the volume at price here. If we get above this level, which, oh, that's where that line was there for. That's the top of this range here, of this large volume, these two large volume bars. So we try to peak above this today, hit the 100 period moving average, and we close up a little bit lower. But we did show a outside day candle. And if you look at the monthly, we had another um, of the same, which uh, had a nice little candle there.
Alright. Stochastic says moving a little bit lower. But I like this bounce off of this 200 period moving average. Notice we do have a lot of volume up in here, but if you go back to the daily, it's not as ominous on a day trade, swing trade basis, okay? So we could get up in this area into this bar and possibly test the where is it? This extension again. Okay. In between, that's about 126 on the spiders. Okay, if we can get trading up above this tomorrow, that's what I'll be looking for as a target on my spiders uh, to take some of these off. Okay, what else am I doing? Um, I also took uh, FCX a strangle into earnings. Okay, still looking at this possibility of it head and shoulders and then inverted head and shoulders and. And move up uh, higher on earnings. Uh, I note that it's a quarter, and yes, the dollar has been trending up during uh, a good portion of that period. But prior to that, we had some nice uh, earnings based on dollar performance um, during that quarter. So I'm trading a strangle. I have the 34 puts and the 36 calls and I'm leaning a little bit more to the bullish side so I'm looking for a pop up to the 50 period moving average to complete this inverter, inverted head and shoulders there's always a possibility we could break back down being we're over bought on the stochastics but like I said I'm uh, leaning a little bit more bullish so I'll be watching the Euro. Um, a number of people I follow are short the Euro currently, which I can perfect I can understand perfectly why they are. We're up the 127 extension off of this pivot high, pivot low here. Okay. But if you take the same pivots we were looking at for FCX and the spiders from the 104 low up to this previous high, uh, we do have extension levels that we could break above. We also have the 382 right here where we tested today. So, those are my targets. Those are the things I'm looking at. This is Cousin Vinny coming to you from Day Trading Radio. Remember to use your stops, and if you're not a member, come over and check us out for a two week free trial. And for those of you that are members and viewing this video, I'll see you in the room tomorrow. Take care.